Hi, it's Nell with the blog Joyous Garden, and this is all about aphids and how to control, how to get rid of, how to remove aphids. It's spring, you might notice them on your plants, both indoors and outdoors, so I'm going to give you a few tips for spraying them. So I just updated a blog post on aphids and mealybugs. It has all the information in it about identifying them. You're still going to see them when we get up close. Identifying them, care, where they come from. I do questions, tips, all that. So I'm not going to get into that. In this post, it's just a shorter post on spraying and controlling them. And as usual, there will be a blog post to go along with this video. And uh, both of those links will be at the top of the description box down below. So now we're going to head outside for the spring. So I'm going to get the plant down, this Hoya, this beautiful hanging Hoya, and I'll meet you out on the patio. So first of all, I'm going to show you the aphids. Here they are here, and they are orange. Aphids come in many colors. Again, I'm not going into details on that, but, but you will often find them on the stems, especially the upper stems of a plant like this because they love the more tender, newer growth that's nice and juicy. So you'll find them here and then on the new growth, which is right there, that's another place. And then another place they love to be, I'm going to spin this around, is on the underneath of the leaf. So these are my tips for spraying is you really have to hit um, every, pl every, every place on the plant to have it really be effective and they lay eggs like crazy too. So you're going to have to spray two or three times. And you might notice, I don't know if you can tell that the leaves are really sticky, you know, the leaves look really shiny. That is uh, the aphids secrete a, sh a sugar as they suck. They're a soft bodied scale insect and they suck and they secrete this sugary type of substance, which you can really see here on the inner side of the plant. So that is always a, a good sign that you have aphids. So I don't use chemicals on my plants at all. I happen to bring this one out. It's a hanging plant, so I, I didn't want to I'm going to drench it. I didn't want to do it inside and I left it in the hanger. But what you use is up to you. I've never used this one before. Insecticidal so uh, super soap. I've used an insecticidal soap before. I've used horticultural oil. I've used neem. I've used uh, vinegar and water. All have worked, but, but, but this is something I wanted to try. It kills listed insects in minutes and it's also for organic gardening which I like and be sure to follow the instructions in here you don't want to you use it too often I'm probably gonna do this because this has a pretty it has like a moderate infestation I'm probably gonna spray this three times but I'm gonna wait seven to ten days in between each time I spray because as I said I want to get those eggs too okay so I'm gonna shake this up because it recommends to sh shake it up and I'm gonna just spray all over the plant. I will turn it around too. That gets it there. And then I'm going to turn it upside down and get the leaves maybe because there could be some eggs there. It does take a while, especially on a plant like this, which has a lot of foliage, but you have to, you have to really get everything if you want to be effective on it. Otherwise they're just going to come back. And this plant had aphids last year. I got rid of it, but they came back in the spring. It's just sort of the nature of things. Oh, here's some on some new growth, both on top of and under the leaves. So, so I'm really giving it a good spray. So what I'm going to do, I think you have the idea of how to do it now. Um, I'm going to go through and do the whole thing and then I'm going to spray it again in 
seven to ten days and then I'm going to come back to report to you about how the aphid infestation is doing and there's uh, something important to know about spraying too is you don't want to spray a plant in the full sun at all and you also don't want to spray a plant that's stressed either it's like over watered or under watered you want the plant to look healthy and good when you spray it because you're just going to have a better outcome. Cassie who works at Joy's Garden is here also and she pointed out something so she said it just sits now and and it is going to sit for a while out here after I spray it. I live in Tucson, Arizona, which is very dry. It's warm, so it should dry fast. And then I will put it inside and then I will bring it back outside to spray I mean, probably about seven to 10 days. So we're gonna focus in on this leaf here. This black is where they've all died. And you can see there's still a couple right there that that somehow survived they may have been on another leaf and just you know came over to that one you know that one is really moving so i'm going to do that to all of the foliage underneath because that's where they hang out a lot so as i said this is going to take me a while but you can see me start to spray it and then right here is some tender new growth and there are some aphids on there. So I'm gonna hit all the new growth too. And then I will do it again. This has been 10 days since the last spraying. So I'll wait either seven to 10 days and then I'll spray a third time. Whatever you use, it will tell you how often to spray. I usually spray three times because it's had a bad infestation. I will leave links to other products you can use for aphids in the blog post and let's see what else oh yes I was spraying this I sprayed this a few times inside with it still hanging and it just didn't do the the trick because I wasn't able to really saturate it on the inside so I had to stand over it and look down on it instead of looking up so this um this I think I'm, I know is going to do the trick because I don't see too much of anything now. I, I just see dead aphids. So hopefully, hopefully this will be okay for the rest of the season. In terms of aphids, it's doing fine in terms of growth. <laughs> and just a reminder to check the post on aphids and mealybugs, which has a lot more information on it. Aphids in the post, as I said, this one is more about spraying and how to do it. So uh, I will leave more details on the spraying in the blog post for you. And both of those links will be at the top of the description box. It's about six or seven weeks later and the Hoya is happily hanging back up in the dining room. I'm filming this on a camera phone because I'm having problems with my iPhoto. So pardon that, but I, just wanted to tell you that I did not have to spray a third time. The first two sprayings did the trick just fine. The spray I used and also the way I sprayed was very effective. And what else? Oh, I let the plant sit outside for a few days and just dry off and absorb that stuff in. And then I hosed it off because it had a lot of dead aphids on it to get them off. And also there was still some nectar residue on the leaves. And now it's all clean as can be and happy. So I hope you found this to be helpful if your plants have aphids. I have a lot more videos coming your way. So stay tuned for those. I appreciate your likes and your subscribes. Thank you very much. Now let's get into our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place. And don't forget to check the blog post. Thanks for watching.